Hey guys, it's me, Paul Honan, aka Phoninator, but if you're here, you probably already know that. Today on the vlog, I'd like to talk about going against the grain. It's something that's uh, been sort of on my mind today a little bit, um, especially in like social media and stuff. So what I mean by going against the grain is looking at what other people are doing and deciding whether they're doing it because it's how it's always been done or because it's the right way to do it. It's actually sort of a big deal. Um, there are lots of things that have always been done that way and people will look at you funny and make fun of you or be mean to you or get outraged by you doing it differently. However, it tends to be, in most cases, that's just how it's always been done and not necessarily the right way to do it. So, um, for me, uh, it comes in like social media stuff. Um, trying to post a lot and always keep a presence on social media. I see that like I'm posting a lot more than other people um, on Instagram, uh, especially. And you see people that have, you know, thousands of followers with like five or six posts, which is cool and everything. But I find I have more success posting a lot and and being a constant presence. Uh, unfortunately, some people don't see that as a good thing. You know, you're supposed to post regularly, but not spam people is what they say. I don't think I'm necessarily doing that because I believe the stuff I put out is interesting in some way. And in some way that's, I feel like that's the right way to do it. Now, just because most people um, don't do a lot of things on social media in this case, doesn't mean that it's not the right way to do it. I think keeping a presence and trying to build a community, you have to be there constantly and you have to, to give posts and put out content. Maybe a more relatable uh, way of going against the grain is uh, with businesses. There are lots of, of business examples, for instance, when um, when the internet came about, everybody was like, what the heck is this thing? In the early, um, like, the 90s, uh, yeah, probably it was the 90s, right? Yeah, well, people were like, what are this? This is a passing fad, this is crazy, this is stupid. Um, there's so much to do outside, why would you sit inside and, and do stuff on whatever the heck that thing is, the interwebs? But the internet is a day-to-day -day part of our life now. And before the 90s, before the 2000s even, people didn't go online. They went out to, to meet people and, and do stuff. That was life. You went to work, you went out and had fun, and then you came back home. But now, it's more likely for people of my generation and, and older, actually, to stay inside and be on the internet rather than sitting inside and watching TV, which is more of the older generation. Another another example is uh, Uber and Airbnb, a super, super successful major companies right now, but they were laughed at, each of them individually laughed at by dozens of investors because no one believed that you could call up a stranger and get a ride from them. No one believed anyone would take you up on that offer because we've been taught since we were small kids that you shouldn't go in this car with strangers. But here, lo and behold, here it is. And no one would believe that you could rent a room from somebody. And not only would the person renting the room be okay with it, you'd be okay with someone staying in your house. And, and you know, a lot of serial killer stuff came out around those times, like, you know, victimizing or demonizing these products. But today, most people couldn't, couldn't imagine a world without Airbnb and Uber, uh, top companies. So... To, so I wanted to talk to you guys about today about going against the grain, and it feels weird to do so, but it's helped me to just realize that usually the major populace is wrong. We see it time and time again throughout history that that mob mentality is just not true. That just because it's always been done that way doesn't mean you have to do it that way. Doesn't mean it's the right way. So find your own way, as usual, and really do some critical thinking when people tell you that's not the way we do it here so thanks guys um it's been fun as usual future me will probably find this more helpful than anybody but thank you so much for sitting down and listening to me talking to me um if you like this video give it a like comment subscribe all helps me out that'd be super great but thanks guys see you later